you have to first understand that U.S. banks are very thinly capitalized. Typical U.S. bank is about 10% of equity, so 90% of its funding comes from various uh, debt instruments, predominantly deposits. We essentially did a stress test of the banking sector. How many banks can actually survive an insured deposit or run? So first, uh, the first scenario we consider, imagine at each bank, 50% of uninsured depositors uh, withdraw their money. In this case, we'll have about 190 banks uh, being in a precarious position, meaning that the remaining value of assets is not enough to cover the face value of the insured deposit obligation. And these banks account for $300 billion. But of course, if such one become more pronounced and wider, so we did another stress test, what if 100% of uninsured depositors withdraw their money uh, at each bank, then we have a very different situation. We'll have almost uh, more than 1,600 banks being essentially potentially insolvent, and they account for $5 trillion of assets. And in this group, you have some very large banks.